Lower your boat down the slipway into the water, being careful not to slip, and untie the painter. One person then walks the boat to the leeward side of the pontoon, and the second goes and parks the trolley safely in the dinghy park. When you've manoeuvred the boat to the right position on the pontoon, secure the painter to the pontoon. Here, we're simply looping the rope around the cleat in a series of figure of eights. And to finish off, wrap the rope around the cleat like this. Alternatively, you can use a round turn and two half hitches. Pull the boat towards you, being careful not to trap your fingers between the boat and the pontoon. The helmsman can then step aboard. Make sure you step as close as possible to the center line. Never step on the side tanks as the boat could tip over. Push the centerboard down fully to increase stability. With the nose of the boat pointing into the wind, hoist the sails. Unfurl the jib, then move to the back of the boat and lower the rudder blade and secure the downhaul. That's it, you're now ready to leave. Take a good look around to make sure there are no other vessels in the immediate area. Ask your crew to untie the painter and walk the boat as close as possible to the end of the pontoon to make an easy exit. The best point of sailing to approach the pontoon is from a close reach, as this will allow you to easily control your speed by releasing the sails and keeps you out of the no-go zone. In this example, the jib has also been furled away, which slows the boat down even more. Once you're lined up on your close reach, control your speed by adjusting the sails as necessary. Travelling at a slow speed, the crew is able to simply step ashore, keeping hold of the boat by grabbing hold of the shroud.